Hello everyone, it's Nancy Bastine, and uh, I think I've got myself together enough that I can come and make a video. For those of you who don't know, my husband passed away last Tuesday on the 18th. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's been a while since I could get down here in this room and and have my wits together. But anyway, I want to make some uh, artist trading coins, and I cut out a few of these, and uh, what I cut them out with is, you know what your stencils come in? This cardboard that your stencils come in? Well, I punched out <clears throat> with my big punch. I think I put it away. With my two and a half inch punch, I punched out and I glued um, three of them. I glued three of them together and then I punched out some uh, mixed media paper and glued that on top. And some of them I put some painty papers and I don't know why that's sticky. I guess that glue doesn't dry dry sticky and these um, this is a spray that will wash off but these are painted papers and um, I use this um, what did I use I use Aileen's um, where did I put it it's the clear it's the clear glue, Aileen's clear. I haven't been down here for so long, guys. And I came down before he passed away, and he was in hospice. And um, I was going to try and make a video, and I just couldn't do it. I just, I just couldn't get myself together. Anyway, I don't know what it was, but I don't know where I put it. It's clear tacky glue of Aileen's. And that's what I used to glue these together. And it's disappeared off of my desk. It flew away. Gremlins came down here while I was upstairs not doing so good. And came down here and stole my glue. Yep. Or the unicorns are hiding it from me. Um, I bet you... Elizabeth's unicorns flew over here and are, are hiding that glue from me because it makes my pages sticky. Well, anyway, we're not going to worry about that. What I want to do is paint a background on these, and I'm going to use my sparkling watercolor gel crayons. They're metallic, and they are gorgeous. And I have some ephemera here that I have cut out, and I don't know. Did I paint these guys? I don't remember if I cut these out of painty papers. I must have cut them out of painty papers. I don't remember painting them. But anyway, um, yeah, I've got some ephemera here that's already painted that I thought I might use you know something like that this is that vellum that I made and embossed it okay so I'm gonna put some colors down what colors do I want how about some light blue And some green. And maybe some yellow. Now I'm going to use a water brush and see how these turn out. And I'm sorry if I have a runny nose. It's been real hard for me not to 
um, cry every day. Now oh, that works really good. I really miss him. He was such a good guy. Except for the cancer went to his brain and he became very uh, unlikable to say the least. He uh, was very dementia and didn't know what he was doing. He knew who I was. He didn't he didn't forget people. He knew who people were. But he didn't know what things were. He didn't know he got into everything because he just didn't know what it was. Uh, tried to eat stuff that wasn't edible and he was like a little baby that I had to chase around the house and unfortunately um, when it goes to your brain it um, doesn't allow you to sleep and um, he would not sleep at all so I'd be chasing him around all day and then chase him again at night and it was really wearing on me <sighs> sorry I'm gonna pause a minute and blow my nose okay I'm back I think I need to pull my camera a little closer so I'm not out of okay that one's good I'm gonna put that one to the side to dry and let's see what should we do on this one let's do some purple i love these crayons and i need to get them out and use them more and some of this blue this darker blue Kind of blend that in with the purple. And I'm not sure if I want this or if I think this is red and this is supposed to be pink, I think. I think I want the lighter one, the pink one. And we shall see what we get here. I got a wet wipe over here that I'm wiping my brush off with. I don't like rubbing these with my fingers. I don't like the feel of that wax. You know, it's really funny because when I was younger, my mom used to do a lot of canning and she'd do, uh, she'd can berries and make jelly and stuff. And she used to use a paraffin wax. She would melt paraffin wax to put pour on the top of it to seal it. Because she wouldn't use just, uh, regular Kerr canning jar she would use other jars like pickle jars and stuff like that that was good to use but the lids wouldn't reseal on them anyway she had this would have this wax and it would be sitting on the stove cooling down and I'd go in there um <laughs> And when it was cooled down enough, it's still pliable. I would put it on my fingernails, trying to make false fingernails with it. Kind of like what you get at Halloween, and you could, um, yeah. And I'd put them all over my finger and try to make them longer, and I had fun in that wax. And she'd come out there and she'd say, get out of my wax. 
It's not sterile now that you've been in it. And, oh, I'm sorry. I contaminated her wax. But it was a fun play. Yes, it was. It was fun. That paper's coming off. It's not stained glued down. I think I used a glue stick. So I'm going to put some of this glue on it. And how come it's bubbling up? Come on, glue. Do what you're supposed to do. Goodness sakes, this is supposed to be the best glue ever. I haven't used it for a while. I think I'll put a different lid on it. Okay, let's stick that back down. Oh, it's coming off there too. I think that's good. Let's check the other one. Yeah, it's down good. Let's check this one. It's down good. All right, on this one, what do I want to do? I want to get this pin back in this glue, and I see double when it's up close. Um, how about this color? I don't know what it is. Peach? A peachy color. And this brownish color. If I can get the lid off. Don't ask me where I got these. I ordered them off of Amazon, I'm sure. I don't know what brand they are. They're just called Sparkle Water Gel Crayons. Uh, used with paintbrush, metallic colors, work on most paper types, will not dry out. Yaddy yaddy. I don't know what brand they are. Sorry. Doesn't say. You know what's funny is I keep thinking I hear him. I keep thinking I hear him hollering at me. I keep listening. Is that strange? And I think it's the dogs that are whining. My one little dog. I think she's finally come to the conclusion that he's not coming home. She looks for him every day to come through that door, and I keep telling her he's not coming home. Is that kind of sad? That's really sad. And she's getting used to it. Alright, this is kind of 
my pages are kind of warping. All right, it won't go on that spot. I think there's some glue there. That's a-okay. Now these pieces of ephemera are, I think this is a die I had, but most of these are stamps that I stamped out and then I cut them, my scan and cut, cut them out. And I mean it cuts out wonderful. Um, these are, that's not anything. These are off of um, some Graphic 45 paper that I punched out. This butterfly is from Graphic 45. This one is also. Here's another bird. I think this is a die. I'm not sure. And if it is, it probably came from AliExpress. This was sent to me in some Happy Mail. This butterfly. At least I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was sent to me in some Happy Mail. And these little gecko frogs or gecko lizards were sent to me in some happy mail. Yeah, I had another one that happened to it. Maybe I put it back. It was a lighter green one. And this ephemera was um, a stamp that my scan and cut cut out. So, I got some ephemera here to put on these um, and then I have some words, but I also have a stencil, and I don't know if I want to do some stenciling on here, um, or not, or not. So, I'm going to get some ink out to ink the edges of these. I want to ink all the edges. So I'm going to get some ink out, and I think I'm going to get my little, these are my distressed little, little inks, and some other ones that are, I don't know, I bought them at I bought these in a package at one of the craft, one of the craft stores. So let's see. I have just I have seedless grape, probably vintage photo, maybe seedless. the yellow and orange this is the greens and pink and let's see this is black soot and antique linen And this is walnut stain. That, those two are good. So we'll use. Uh oh, what happened to my. I wanted the grape. see my daubers here. This one is probably for the dark ones. I made these daubers. 
out of PVC. I am going to do this purple one with the grape. I just want to go around the edges like we all do and pull this camera out closer to me as I'm sticking way far out of my in my chair way far out What I did is I went and bought these PVC pieces like this at the hardware store and then I came back and I have that, um, I don't know what it's called, that foam of Tim Holtz that's black on one side and I folded that up and pushed it down in the hole and they've been working great for me. Just hunky dory. Okay, that one's done. Now I'll get the darker one for the other. So I don't have any stories to tell. I am doing okay as far as health wise I'm just you know grieving and really sad as most people are and been trying to do a video for even before when he was just in hospice for a five day rest but I just could not wrap my mind around it and get it done I just would come down here and look at this stuff and go I can't do it I just can't do it didn't we have another one that I painted didn't I paint three of these yeah here it is I don't know if I'll get all of these done today on camera but I just kinda wanted to come and touch bases with everybody and a lot of you know because I I uh, told it in the pink poodle uh, in, on her mixed media mashup and then other people that came into her other live after her mixed media mashup so a lot of people know but a lot of you viewers don't know so I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on and where I've been and I'll, I'll get back in the swing of things I'm going to um, he had a hospital bed that we turned the dining room in upstairs into a bedroom for him. We put the hospital bed in there and um, a table with his computer on. He's locked himself out of his computer. None of us know the password. And we try to bypass it and uh, you can't. Uh, this girl from my church came over and was helping me bypass, trying to bypass it with a program and she couldn't get it either and all of his wonderful music files are on there and I can't get into them to listen to any of them and maybe that's good because maybe that would just cause me to grieve more I don't know so anyway I'm gonna get the bed out of there and um, my mother-in-law bought the bed for him before she passed away and we're I'm going to break it down and 
Linda's living in my, Linda, his sister, is living in um, my mother-in-law's house. She was living there before my mother-in-law died. She was taking care of her. And um, I'm going to break it down and take it over there and put it in her basement. And then I'm going to start moving some of my craft stuff upstairs in that room and um, film up there. It's going to be brighter and um, yeah, it'll be nice up there to uh, be able to film and I'm not going to move everything up there. I'm going to start boxing things up because I'm going to be moving out of this house in when the lease is up in April. I'm going to be moving in with Linda for a while. Okay, I think they're all done. And then I'm going to migrate myself back to where I came from, which is Utah. Um, yeah, I'm going to migrate back to Utah because that's where my kids are. And I want to be close to my children. Um, you know, you know how it is. So when I get old and feeble and have brain cancer, they can take care of me. Yeah, yeah. Yes, they can. I'm just kidding. But yeah, I want to be close to my kids. I miss them a lot. Oh, forgot a dauber. Oops. Now, where is it going to go in there? We got to squeeze it in. We'll squeeze it in right there. This is a handy little pencil case that holds my, my inks. All right. Now, I have some words here. So, I don't know what I'm going to use. I have some... Tim Holtz words, some that I printed out, and um, we'll be using some of those probably. But let's <clears throat> get some ephemera on here and see what we're going to do. <clears throat> With the purple one, I don't know what I'm going to do on it because. This is going to run off of here. And um, I don't know. Nothing seems to want to go on there. I probably should get some um, <clears throat> fibers. I didn't think about getting fibers out. And I have a bunch of other little cutouts here that I cut out with my um, scan and cut when I stamped them, but I didn't color them. So they're all just black and white. Some of them are cute. But, like that cute little butterfly. But I would have to color them. And, um, I thought one good old day I'd sit here and sit and just color these. I should have taken them upstairs and did it when I was when I was just sitting and not doing anything. You know? Well, okay. I'll be right back. I'm going to get some fibers. Change of plan, guys. I'm going to emboss instead of using all these painted ephemera. I'm going to emboss. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. So on this one, I'm going to stamp and I'm going to emboss. 
And what I'm going to put on here is, I don't know, maybe I'll put a monster. Let's come back to that one. I'm going to put a hedgehog on this one. This little circle hedgehog with a butterfly on its nose. And let's see how this all goes, guys. I might change my mind again after we do it. There's a hair. One of my long hairs. Let's see how much juice is in this. in this little stamp block here. I need to get a piece of paper. Come on. I gotta have a piece of paper. Somewhere around here. Hopefully that didn't dry out. We shall see, huh? If it doesn't work, we'll scrap it. We will scrap it. And I'm going to emboss in black. I didn't need a piece of paper because I have this. I poured all my embossing things in these little things. In these little things, these little dishes. All right, let's see how it does. cute look how cute that is and we'll put something a little sentiment down there on the bottom and that one will be done how fun is that so we'll set that one aside and clean our stamp off Get rid of this because we don't need it. Now, where did I put the stamp? Oh my goodness, guys. I'm losing it. Here it is. Oh, 
That's a cute little stamp. I like hedgehogs. I do. All right. Let's see. What should we put on that one? I could put this one up here and then put scary underneath it. Shall we try this little monster? Oh, hang on. My dog needs to go out. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. They had to be let out, let in, fed, and now they're taking a nap. So I can come and finish what I'm doing down here. I need a drink. See? Taking a drink. Mm. Good old cold water. Now I'm going to put some lip balm on. Because my lips are chappy. Alrighty. Got that done. My windows are open because my dogs stink. They're dachshunds and they can get real stinky. And they go to the groomers, not this week, but next week. <sighs> I'll be glad when they get their bath. Okay, I'm going to put this up kind of high and over so I can put the word scary on there. Let's hope that that got on there. Boy, it got on there and everywhere everywhere but where I want it. <clears throat> I should use my bossing buddy. Boy, it really got on there. I don't know if I can re-stamp it again and... If that'll work or not, let's try it. i use my embossing buddy here. Ooh, that put out a lot. I've never used it before. I've always forgot about it. Alright, let's try this again. I'm going to use this other Versamark. It seems to be a little more sticky. Let's see how this goes. see where one eyeball didn't get it, but hmm, I'm 
gonna stamp it again. Maybe I should use my little sponge thing. I've used these before, so they're not new stamps. Third time's a charm. Let's see what we got. You know what? I think I'm just going to give up on this. That just doesn't want to work. I'm getting too much gunky stuff on there now. I'll just have to use that one for something else. Alright, let's try it on. Maybe we should try it on this one. Now this one's got sticky stuff on it. Hmm. Maybe we'll just give up on the uh, all the on this monster because he doesn't want to get on there. All right, let's see what else we have here. Let's do this. I thought this small dream catcher and then may your dreams come true. or live your dream. Let's try this one. Bossing Buddy. Yeah, we're going to use this again. Where I'm using it over my garbage can. Sorry you can't see that. All right. I told you I couldn't wrap my head around these. I want to do too much on them, I think, and little is enough. I've seen other people's and they're so pretty and some of them are just really pretty with hardly anything on them. Alright, let's see what happened here. Oh, now that came out good. That came out really good.
Let's see. Am I still not in frame? <sighs> see how pretty that come out? Now I want to stamp the other. I want to stamp... Where did it go? Oh. Um, let's see if this one will fit on there. Yep, it'll fit right there. Sure, I get it on there right. It's going to go over into the thing a little bit. The dream catcher, that's okay. There we go. That's cute. I'll put some little gems in here. Dress it up a little bit. Yes, I will. here we have three more let's see I do want to do the elephant on one I think right there in the center Ugh, I got embossing, embossing powder everywhere. I can feel it. Now I'm going to make sure that I have this under it to stamp it. They're good. Oh, I forgot to use my bossing in buddy. Let's hope for the best.
guess. Oh, just a little bit on his foot down here. I think that's going to come out pretty. Pretty, pretty. Something went in my embossing. Look how pretty that is. Alrighty, that's hot. That's pretty, huh? That's pretty, pretty. That's really pretty. I'm gonna put some rhinestones on these and dress them up really pretty. Now let's see. He is on here. I got it. Get it off of there and oh I hate embossing powder. It gets everywhere. I really love this stamp set. I'm so glad I got it. I got it at Michael's in their Boho long time ago. And I've never seen it since. And here's the sun. And I have it over here. See that sun? And I think it'll be pretty on on here in black. Cause it'll fit right on there. But I don't think The arrows are too big. If I curved it, I don't think I want an arrow on there. It says, you're my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. There you go. I sang you a little song. All right. Bossing buddy. Now let's get, let's ink this up again because it might have dried out. And I want to get a good impression. put her, try to center her right in the center. Oh, I should have had the thing underneath. Darn it. Let's see what happened here. You're going to bark at everybody that goes by because my windows are open. And that's just what they do.
That looks pretty. I think it's gonna be party, party, party. Party, party, party. See how pretty? Pretty, pretty. All right, one last one for right now. And I want to put some butterflies on that one. It has some uh, um, sprays on it. Um, um, I'm trying to think what kind of sprays they are. Um, I can't think. I don't know. I don't know what kind of sprays they are. Sorry guys, I can't remember. Okay. I'm going to put some butterflies and a bee. A butterfly and a bee on here. Maybe, no, maybe a dragonfly. A dragonfly. And I don't think the bee is going to fit on there. Nope. Let's just do the dragonfly on here. Bossing buddy. Wait a minute. I want, maybe I want some of this first. And then the emboss, and then the dragonfly. Let me check and see what I want to do with this. Because I want a little bit of. Maybe I shouldn't emboss this. Maybe I should. Maybe I think what I'm going to do is stamp it in a green and then have the dragonfly fly over. Let me find green. bottom yep that's right yeah I think I want some a little bit of background with this um, whatever this is. It's a dandelion, I think. 
but I'm calling it uh, Queen's Anne and it's sticky with that glue with that burst mark on it and I'm just going to use my feet and I'm not going to put it on a block and I just want to stamp some on here And I want to stamp it off. That didn't stamp off very good, but kind of like that, yeah. Yeah, kind of like that. You see it? Maybe put a little more down here. Yeah, like that. Okay, that's good. Good enough. Now we'll put the dragonfly on there. Ink it up again. Hopefully that stays on its dry enough. Maybe I better hit it with the heat gun. Okay. Now I gotta wait till it cools down. And I'm going to have to stamp my dragonfly again. Make sure that it's good and juicy. Except for this Versamark stuff stays wet longer than the other kind. And I just want him, her, flying through. Like that. Alright, I can't tell. Looks good. Okay. Let's heat it up, see what we got. I do like that a lot. Isn't that just pretty? 
Come on, it's auto focus on. You see how pretty that is? all that detail all right so now we got these and I probably need a word on here and I don't have I gotta get my dragonfly back on that one And I'm going to look and see on this other stamp. Because I think there is a word on here that says believe. It's not on that one. Maybe it is on that one. I know I saw a word on here, but I think it's going to be too big. Yep, yeah, it's too big. So. Alright, I'm going to go find some gems and I'll be right back. I should have all this ready, but I had changed my mind on doing this, so I will be right back. I won't have you wait too long. <laughs> 